Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. Look where I'm at. I'm at my first air show. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely excited to talk about this. I've always wanted to come to an air show. Um, I wanted to do the Willow Grove air show for the longest, I just kept missing it. But now I'm here in Atlantic City. As you can see all around me, there are people, hundreds of people who are here for the air show as well. And here's the thing, here's this really cool thing. So I'm here at the Flight Line Club they are the ones that are sponsoring this like kind of little special area or whatever and so we're sitting under the tent out of the sun but there is an area over here that you can sit as well but yeah so this is going to be amazing and for a first flight show i am definitely excited and so if for those of you who are not in this area out there is the atlantic ocean if hopefully the camera is going to pick this up but if you look out there there's definitely like a lot of boats and stuff like that people hanging out that's a good place to see but then if you look down there down the beach you also see people as far as the eye can see and then this tent under here is where all the flight line people are and then as you come out here this is where you know people are just kind of off on the beach they got their thing set up if you get an opportunity to do this air show i highly recommend it because it's just it's just absolutely beautiful to just be able to sit out on the beach and just kind of see all of this stuff um and again you know i'm so excited for this to be my first flight show to be able to be down here at the atlantic city flight show awesome so that was my you know little intro the next shots are just gonna be just you know little vignettes of stuff where you'll be able to see airplanes and all that kind of stuff the thing that's really cool about being in this particular area is that apparently like right over my shoulder here is where you'll see a lot of the main maneuvers and whatnot and so it's gonna be awesome so anyway i'm gonna see if my wife wants to still stay under the tent there um or if she wants to come out here but suffice it to say this is uh pretty amazing all right so next shot you will see you'll probably see people flying around and seeing all kinds of cool stuff and what better way to do a flight show than be on a nice sandy beach on a nice day like it is today absolutely amazing all right so i'm going to go back and like i said the next things you'll see is airplanes flying and this is going to be so cool all right so while we're waiting for the air show to begin i just want to thank my wife for bringing me here she is the reason why we're actually at the air show today and we're sitting under this nice cool tent uh, so thank you baby for hooking this up um we've been talking to a few people the more i talk to people the more excited i'm getting um and so you just wait this is gonna be so awesome but i definitely just wanted to publicly thank my wife for you know setting this all up we came in yesterday we started at the we stayed at the hard rock um, hotel the casino great place great amenities nice clean room it was awesome um she met one of her sorority sisters here we had a nice dinner so this has already been a fantastic experience and i know you don't get to see her much um other than when we're flying but um i just definitely wanted to just you know just say that she's the reason why this is happening she's an amazing wife and mother and just wanted to give my baby some kudos <laughs> just so you can get a sense of how incredible the experience was this was the view that i woke up to um and this was all my wife's doing and i gotta tell you i've been to atlantic city many times but i've ne never actually stayed there and she got this room for us we had breakfast in the room we ordered room service um and it was just amazing and then of course instead of like a very stressful drive you know on the day of the air show this is how we commuted to the air show um just a beautiful nice walk down the boardwalk um and even at this early time in the morning you could tell that you know people were excited about the air show and um 
yeah, that woman right there, she is just incredible. All right, it's almost that time. It's about, I would say, 27 after 11, and they're about to get started. You can see there's a lot of photographers out here. Now, I'm, there's a plane circling up there. There's no way you're gonna be able to see that, but I think that's gonna be one of the planes that's gonna be for the paratroopers. Um, so, this is like beyond exciting. There's a lot of people, the weather's great. A little hot, um, some people under the tent just have to make sure that everybody stays hydrated. But yeah, this is about to be awesome. So, as soon as the opening ceremony starts, we're gonna like start seeing some stuff and it's gonna be fantastic! Um, but yeah, you know, you can see I'm a little bit excited, um, but yeah, it's gonna be great. So anyway, um, it's almost go time and yeah. That's it. Just real quick, if you look straight out there, you'll see like kind of like a ship. It's kind of pretty big. You've probably seen it a couple times since I've been filming, but apparently that's gonna be like a central place where a lot of people are gonna be doing a lot of maneuvers. The one thing that I just saw is you can't see it right now, but there was a tanker flying over. So I guess that's how they're gonna be, I guess, you know, filling the aircraft while they're in the air or something like that. I'm telling you, man, this is just so, so awesome. And the show itself started with these paratroopers that jumped up. I mean, they, they look like they were at least, you know, 5,000 feet up. Um, but when they came down, I mean, they were freaking me out because they were like going in between each other. And a couple of them were really screaming down. Um, but this is how the air show started. And I gotta tell you, you know, this was just at the beginning and I was already having my heart pounding. I mean, it was just crazy. And this jumper coming down was just, it was cool. It was really, really, really cool. And then after all the jumpers came, this nice docile airplane flew by and it was cool to see, just be that close. But this was just before all hell broke loose. <laughs> Did you see that? That was crazy. I mean, I could feel it like down in my bones. <laughs> That's awesome. They're gonna make another pass over, do some other maneuvers, but I think they're going out to do some fueling or something, but man, that was nuts. NBC 10 helicopter. Smile, please take your pictures. Give away for your hat on your head, waving to fly by force. Waving to NBC 10.
radar time. It's a K walk. Wild seeing these things live. That thing is back. Just a little different for you this afternoon. Eighth racing century day. See that big old flat thing, that globe on top? That is a radar though, and it is turning for you today. This at Tinker Air Force Base at Oklahoma came all the way here to the East Coast just for us to by our show this afternoon. Wow. Yes, the Malachi Warren on Wanted to take a quick break just to show you this picture of just how awesome this flight show is. If you haven't had a chance, you should definitely do the Atlantic City Flight Show. And I wanted to give a special shout out to the Flight Line Club of Atlantic City. They were the ones that provided that big tent. Um, they had bathrooms. They had water. This whole area was basically just for the flight line club and again my wife arranged all of this she found this you know this club she bought the tickets and all this kind of stuff and i think you know this was just such an amazing first experience and so i just wanted to show you as we got attacked from the back of uh, these two helicopters just to give a shout out to atlantic city air show um, if you've never gone please go it is a great time um, and then definitely shout out to the Flight Line Club. T6 is in formation. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Smoke is coming right down. Oh my gosh, look at that. Incredible. It's crazy. Coast Guard Dolphin. And I think somebody's getting ready to come out of there. It's going to go behind these umbrellas. But... Oh! <laughs> so these are a group of RV aircraft. Home built. They call this the VMAX formation. Come by, boys. Hey, Kev, are you up there? Actually, all house folks. It's a conglomerate of RV airplanes, RV 3s, 4s, 6s, 7s, and also Harmon Rockers are flying, boys. It's also the RV 8S, also in the flying boys today. That's pretty cool. Go ahead, home built. I missed the pass over. <laughs> Don't kill me. P 51. Get out of there, stupid seagulls. P-51 Mustang, baby. Now, Jim Beeson, Jr. flying the Bald Eagle, P-51 Mustang for us afternoon. Jerome McGriff, this is for you, homeboy. In that thing is cooking. Days, North American designed and built the first P-51 Mustang. It takes a government today about 13 years to think about designing an airplane to be built. This went Look from at that. drawing board, guys with number two lead pencils, draft tables, white shirts, concrete block building, fluorescent lights, and number two lead pencil and slide rules designed and built this airplane in 113 days. Wow. Up to the on the other side. The Spitfire, the P51, the Merlin, Look the Lancaster, the Typhoon. They couldn't build them quick enough. So then we came back to U.S. and Packard said, yeah, the people are going to build the engine for you. You lose it. So Packard went to work. Under license from Rolls Royce, started building. There he comes. The all the way Bombing the run. Expanding and going at the backside of the cooler. It came through first time with a turtle deck, just a canopy on it. Later P-51 B-model airplanes and a larger tail with a full bubble canopy on the airplane. What 
made the airplane, the Mustang, the great airplane, the Bruce made a great, great airplane of World War II. What's the range of the airplane? It could wow. fly high cover for the B-24s, the B-17s, all for Berlin. Hermann Goering said when he saw the P-51s flying cover from the B-17s over Germany, he knew Germany had lost the war. <laughs> There's nothing like the sound that rolls away from Merlin Packard engine in front of the P-51. That's an There's awesome airplane. Shows, it's all 12 shows, it's all before you out there. 1,650 horsepower in front of that airplane. That great big 12-foot diameter prop in the front of the P-51. Oh, going into the sun. Going into the sun. Bright light! Bright light! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I had to give that some props. The P-51 Mustang, awesome aircraft. That was like a must do. Um, as you heard during the commentary, basically World War II machine, basically I think it was the thing that won the war for us. And if you remember, P-52 Mustang, I believe was part of the Red Tails as well. Awesome, awesome aircraft. Absolutely amazing. Wow. He's coming now in landing configuration. Ladies and gentlemen, from the left, let's get the Hornet dirty roll. This is just crazy. I mean, do you see what's going on back here? Do you see this? It's crazy! this battery dies and I did bring a battery pack and it's dead oh poor planning on my part but did you see this this is just crazy but anyway oh just amazing machinery okay so this video is getting a little long and um, I will say that there's a part that I have to bleep out because it gets really really crazy I did not know that these Thunderbirds were so crazy all right, so as they say, let's skip to the good part. So as you can hear, I'm trying to figure out which way to look. And remember, this is the first time I've ever witnessed something like this. And these, they seem like they were within feet of us. And I got to tell you, they do some amazing maneuvers. And I didn't know where to, <laughs> where to look at some points, but I'm going to catch some maneuvers. But I'm going to tell you, they do this one maneuver, and it feels like all hell breaks loose. I mean, it is just crazy. Why didn't I know about this before? All right, let's get to some other maneuvers. Ah, uh, silver break.
Watch as one becomes four with the echelon pass in review. Dang, it looks like one airplane. That's crazy. crazy. Diamond is now approaching from the right. This is a rare opportunity to go inside the cockpit of Thunderbird 1 as Lieutenant Colonel Justin oh, Elliott my batteries calls for dying. the Diamond College to perform simultaneous aileron rolls. Oh, ready now. And roll. Okay, I have to set up this next clip because this is when it felt like the world was coming to an end. I thought Jesus himself was coming back. So you can see that they do a pass coming out. The next clip you're going to see is them converging back on one spot and oh my goodness. So in a spirit of full disclosure, yes, I did curse. I cursed out loud. Um, and sorry, grandmama, I, I don't like to curse. I try not to, it is just not good. But it felt like the sky was being ripped open. I didn't know if I had broken a few ribs. I don't know, like my eyes were bleeding. My ears were definitely ringing. That was the loudest sound I've ever heard in my life. So as you see them do this stunt, it's always important with these daggone Thunderbirds to wait for the sneak attack. Here it comes. Wow, look at how slow he's going. per hour before passing they're gonna bank sharply narrowly did he say left or right each other from oh. the opposing knife edge pass yeah really Okay, so my battery is legit dying and I have no way to, to so I'm going to basically have to sign on. But as you can see, this is just an amazing. And you see this woman right here, she's the one that's responsible for getting me here. And um, I really definitely thank her for that. So, oh, it's too bad my battery is dying. But this has been a phenomenal day. Uh, I've seen just so many incredible things, as you can see here. So yeah, so it's just been such an incredible thing. You can see all these people out here. They're feeling the same thing that I am. It's just, it's just heart pounding, just crazy. So anyway, I'm going to sign off. Russ Kid, Russ Can Fly. My first aviation air show. Definitely not my last. Incredible. Thank you, Atlantic City. Thank you, Wifey, for bringing me here. It's amazing. All right, I'm out. Russ Kid. Peace.